Hi, I'm Dan Bukatinsky. Normally you might find me writing, producing, acting, in the writer's room at Grey's Anatomy or in front of the cameras at Scandal. But today I'm thrilled to be on campus at the Vista Del Mar Child and Family Services in Los Angeles. Founded over 100 years ago as a Jewish orphanage, Vista Del Mar still stands today providing services for thousands of children and families in need from all backgrounds through programs in mental health, education, prevention, and adoption. Over 6,000 children and families in need every year come through these doors, and everyone has their own VISTA story. Even I have a VISTA story. But first, let's hear from the children themselves. Flor is 18 years old and has been living in the VISTA residential program. She had had some substance abuse and behavior problems in the past, but now that she's at VISTA, she has a whole new avenue towards success and hope. Hi, um, my name is Flor. I'm Flor Linares. I'm 18 years old and I live here at Vista. This is my little sister. It all started off when my, my, my dad left my house. Dad had another kid. He had another whole other family. And then my brother got diagnosed with schizophrenia. Sometimes he beat me. I had to grow up. I was 14 years old. I had to grow up. It was so I ended up using drugs. I lived in the streets for almost two years. If I didn't find Vista, I think I would still be in the streets. At the beginning, I AWOL first. I ran away from here and they caught me. And, and I came back and, and this place just, I don't know, there's no words saying how much this place helped me. <laughs> One of the things she's gained here at Vista is a sense of self-esteem and self-worth. And I love, I just love seeing, I love, I love the, 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 the spotlight. I'm reaching goals that I never thought I would reach before. I'm getting my GED. They're going to help me get into beauty school. I'm going to college. I'm going to come back. I'm absolutely going to come back and talk to the kids when I, like, five years from now. <laughs>put in their effort to make a kid feel better about themselves. It's amazing. Alexander is 11 years old and has been at the Vista School since he was four and a half years old. He was having some behavior and some anger issues and some learning differences. And then his mother found Vista. I was devastated when, um, they first said that Alexander need, um, is not like everybody else, you know, and is not a typical child. His attention was small. I mean, I couldn't get him to, to remember where we were. He could be considered a problem child. So like if you would say, Alexander, get back and doing your work, you would have to like take him out of the first fantasy world just to get him back to, this, to, to his original place. I would just be looking around like this. Called up friends who are in the field and said, what do you suggest? And basically all roads led to Vista. I think the one thing about Vista that is really nice is that it's, a, it's sort of a close-knit kind of community. 
And Alexander's been at Vista since he's, I guess, four and a half years old. And it's been a godsend. This. But isn't the earth at a tilt? Well, it is, but it's not a very large tilt. He got to do a lot of growing up here. I got to do a lot of growing up here. Seven weeks ago, they said, Mom, I think I'd like to go to a typical middle school. But you see there's a difference between the kids that go to school here and the kids that go to school there? He has started having a dual enrollment uh, at Overland Elementary, where his twin brother is at. I'm very proud of you, and I love you. I love you too, Mom. It takes a village to raise a child, and Vista is my village. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everyone has a Vista story, even me. When I first came to Los Angeles over 20 years ago, I never thought about having children. I've dedicated my life to being an actor and a writer and a producer, and I spent 10 years just focused on that. But then my husband and I realized that we wanted to have a family. We were introduced to Vista Del Mar Child and Family Services, and immediately we were put into an educational program. We met other families just like us. Twice we went through the program at Vista Del Mar. I have a daughter now named Eliza and a son named Jonah. I never knew the joys of having a family until I had one of my own. And I'm so grateful that I myself have a Vista story. <laughs>